Dear learners, welcome to the course Antennas and Microwave Engineering. In this video, I will explain one of the important antenna parameter, antenna gain. Gain of an antenna is a basic property. It is frequently used as figure of merit. Gain is closely associated with the directivity of an antenna and directivity entirely depends upon the shape of the radiation burdens of an antenna. Antenna gain represents the ability of an antenna to radiate maximum power in a given direction or to absorb effectively in a given direction. So, antenna gain is defined as the ratio of maximum radiation intensity from subject or test antenna to the maximum radiation intensity from a reference antenna. What does mean by subject antenna or test antenna? Subject antenna means antenna under consideration for performance analysis. That means it is antenna under test, our own antenna. Reference antenna is a standard antenna. It is nothing but isotropic antenna. Isotropic antenna is a hypothetical lossless antenna. It radiates energy equally in all direction. A with respect to isotropic antenna can be defined as G0 is equal to maximum radiation intensity from subject or test antenna to the maximum radiation intensity from isotropic antenna. Gain also be represented in terms of received power. It is the ratio of maximum power received from subject or test antenna to the maximum power received from a reference antenna. That means power received from our own antenna to the power received from an isotropic antenna. There are generally two types of gain used in antenna analysis. One is directive gain. It is represented as G D. D is in suffix directive gain. Another gain is power gain. It is represented as G P. All practical antennas concentrate that radiated energy in a particular direction. The extent to which a particular that antenna concentrates its energy is the directive gain. Directive gain represents how much amount of power is radiated in a particular direction with respect to the average radiated power. Directive gain is represented as GD. It is radiation intensity in a particular direction to the average power radiated. The average power can be expressed in terms of the radiated power as P average is equal to P rad by 4 pi r square watts per meter square. The directive gain is also defined as the ratio of the power density PD to the average power radiated. For isotopic antenna, the value of the directive gain is unity. Since it radiates equal amount of power in all direction, GD theta comma phi is that is it is a function of angular coordinate theta and phi. GD is equal to PD by PD average. PD average is nothing but P radiated divided by 4 pi r square. Now we rearrange all the terms. This GD of theta comma phi can be represented as radiation intensity divided by the average radiation intensity. That means 4 pi u of theta comma phi divided by P rad. GD can be defined as the power density radiated in a particular direction by subject antenna to the power density radiated in that particular direction by an isotropic antenna. Maximum directive gain is otherwise called as directivity. The antenna gain is directly associated with the directivity of an antenna. The ratio of maximum power density to the average power radiated is called maximum directive gain. It is otherwise represented as D. D is equal to GD maximum that is equal to ratio of PD maximum divided by P average. P average is nothing but P radiated divided by 4 pi r square. Therefore, the directivity can alternatively defined as D is equal to GD maximum is equal to U max by U average. 
that is 4 pi u max by p rad where this u max is nothing but maximum radiation intensity. The directivity of an antenna is uh, dimensionless quantity. Directivity can also be expressed in terms of electric field intensity as d is equal to 4 pi e max squared by double integral of e of theta comma pi square sin theta d theta d pi. We know that the average power density p average can be defined as p average is 1 by 4 pi double integral of p of theta comma pi sin theta d theta d pi. Here it is integrating with respect to the angular uh, coordinates theta and pi. Theta is from 0 to pi, pi is from 0 to 2 pi. Now the directivity can be defined as d is equal to p d max by p average. That is equal to p of theta comma pi maximum divided by 1 by 4 pi double integral of p of theta comma pi d omega. So now we rearrange all the terms. We get d is equal to 4 pi by omega a. Omega a is nothing but beam area. So for isotropic radiator it has the lowest possible directivity of value d is equal to 1. But for all practical antennas it should have the directivity greater than 1. So therefore d greater than 1. Suppose if we know the half hour beam width of an antenna, we can write the activity in terms of half hour beam width. D is equal to 41,253 divided by theta degree phi in degree. That means the product of theta hp and phi hp is nothing but half hour beam width in one principal plane and phi hp is nothing but half hour beam width in other principal plane. That means it is in uh, one is measured in E plane and another one is measured in H plane. Both are angular coordinates, it is represented in degrees. The above equation is obtained by neglecting minor lobes. Suppose if we consider minor lobes too, then the formula can be approximated as directivity d is equal to 40,000 divided by theta Hp by Hp. The resolution of an antenna is defined as half of the beam width between first tunnels. Already we know that beam width is angular separation between the two points in the radiation curtain. So resolution is equal to Fn Pw by 2. First tunnels beam width divided by 2. Practically uh, half hour beam width is slightly less than first tunnel beam width divided by 2. So beam area is nothing but the product of theta Hp phi Hp. Theta Hp is nothing but Fn Pw divided by 2 in the theta plane, Fn Pw divided by 2 in a phi plane. You take the product of these two terms, you will get the beam area. Already we know that what is mean by the beam area or beam solid angle. We have discussed this term in a separate video. If there are n number of point sources of radiated distributed uniformly, then the antenna results source and its expression is given by. Suppose if we consider n number of point sources, that time n is equal to 4 pi by omega a. That means 4 pi by omega a is nothing but the directivity, definition for the directivity. So therefore n is equal to 4 pi by omega a, it is nothing but the directivity of an antenna. So directly we can say that directivity is equal to n number of isotropic point sources. So, thus ideally number of point sources resolved by an antenna is equal to directivity of an antenna. Suppose we consider 20 uh, isotopic point sources means the directivity is the D is equal to 20. Next we are going to talk about power gain. We are going to express the gain in terms of the power. It compares the power uh, with respect to the isotropic antenna. The ratio of the power radiated in a particular direction to the actual power input given to the antenna is called power gain of antenna. The power gain of the antenna is denoted as Gp of theta comma pi and is given by Gp theta comma pi is equal to Pd divided by Pn. So Pn it represents the total input power and Pd is the power radiated into the Space. So, power gain is defined as the ratio of maximum radiation intensity to the radiation intensity due to isotropic lossless antenna. Gp maximum is equal to U max by P in by 4 pi. 
Now u max can be represented as p rad by 4 pi into gd maximum. This radiated power is nothing but eta or p in. That means it can be represented in terms of the radiation efficiency. Eta r is the radiation efficiency and p in is the input power. This is antenna efficiency. So, already I explained this term in a separate video. Antenna efficiency, it defines the efficiency of an antenna, how much amount of power is radiated into the free space with respect to the total input power. Now, we are substituting the value of u max in the expression for maximum power gain, gp maximum simplified as eta or gd maximum. So, maximum power gain is equal to efficiency and directive gain. Since gain denotes the concentration of energy and high values of gain are associated with the narrow beam width. Gain is equal to the directivity provided antenna efficiency is 100 percentage. So, therefore, G is equal to eta D. When eta is equal to 1, that time gain is equal to directivity. In other words, for antenna without any losses, gain and directivity are same. Otherwise, not. When efficiency is 100 percentage, then gain and directivity both are interchangeably used. I hope you could understand the concept of antenna gain. Thank you.